guys welcome back okay so <laughs> i'm back again with another revolution eyeshadow palette okay now the last revolution palette that i tested out didn't work out that great okay so i had to take it back because it was uh, -uh it couldn't stay in the collection but while i was at ulta perusing through some of the other makeup <laughs> I came across this here, which is the new Alexis Stone and Revolution Collab Palette. Okay, now, if you're familiar with this palette, you know that this baby <laughs> was right up my alley. Now, you know, I wasn't really all that concerned about the pigmentation and stuff because a lot of times when they do collab palettes, you know, they have a little bit better quality because they do charge a little bit more for the collab palettes now this palette just being a range of different vibrant beautiful bright shades i had to get it okay i had to get it i believe it was what 24 or 25 dollars i'll put some information for you guys i did use my ulta 20 percent off coupon <laughs> to get this mug so it was probably about 20 bucks for me now with this eyeshadow palette as you can see it gives you the different variations in these shades now there isn't every rainbow shade in here or rainbow color but the nice thing about this is that if you do like to play around with color you can kind of create certain shades that you might be missing like orange or if you want you know a more vibrant green you can go in with the blues and the yellows so it's kind of fun to play with these type of palettes because you can kind of create different shades and colors that you want that are in here so i really really like this palette it is absolutely gorgeous i love the red kind of smoky cardboard packaging with the beautiful light raised writing now i'm not familiar with alexis stone at all i don't know who she is <laughs> i did watch her video just to kind of get a vibe of you know who she is and what her thoughts were regarding this palette so if you're interested go ahead and check that out you can watch her video but I just thought this was pretty cool and I wanted to try it out. Now, there are numbers on the back of here for these shadows instead of names. And this has, what, 7 times 4, 28 shades. Not bad. 28 shades for about 25 bucks. Not bad at all. So, let me go ahead and just do some swatches. I don't think I'm going to swatch the whole palette. I might just swatch maybe the type, the lightest shades and then the darkest shades just to give you an idea of how they look. And then we'll go ahead and move forward into this look. Now, I did try to use a lot, if not all, I think, oh, I didn't use the green, but I did try to use a lot of the colors in this palette. Oh, on my lid, I do have one of my jcat um metallic eyeshadows now along with this palette she did come out with a smaller palette i think it's about seven pans of toppers they're like glittery or shimmery type toppers that you could use along with this palette but i didn't need that i got way too many palettes with toppers shimmers and glitters so i didn't spend 15 dollars on that so just fyi this on my lid is my own topper, not one from her collection. So let's go ahead and get into these swatches and then we'll jump into this island. swatches in the palette and these are the darkest swatches in the palette I'm very very impressed um, when you think about makeup revolution and a lot of the palettes they come out with it's kind of nice when they do a collab because you're gonna get a little bit better quality it's not like <laughs> It didn't knock my socks off like, oh my gosh, you know, like the Norvina palettes or anything like that. But these pigments do pack a very nice punch. 
and I would definitely be reaching for this palette. So let's go ahead and just jump into this eyelid. Okay, you guys, so let me just start off by apologizing for all the lighting changes. When I started out this look, the sunlight was coming through my window quite a bit, and by the time I finished, it was nighttime. So there will be some lighting changes throughout the video. But I started out with the darkest blue in the palette. It's a navy type blue, but as you can see, as I started to apply it, it looked a little bit kind of like a teal or a dark teal, but the more that I built it up, that's the darker it got. So it could have just been my base that I used. But as you can see, this blue is very, very pigmented, very nice. It is packing onto my lid very easily and blending out very easily. So next I wanna go into purple. So I'm using the darkest purple in the palette and using that right next to the blue. I need to blend those together so I can create a nice gradient for this look. So I'm just going in and using that purple to blend out the edge of that blue. And I really, really like how that looks. You can see how that blue looks darker now. Now for the inner portion of my lid, I wanted to use pink right next to that purple because I knew I had an idea in my mind of what type of gradient I wanted to do, but I knew on the inner corner, I wanted it to be a bit lighter than the outer portion of my lid. So I'm using pink right next to the purple, but only in the inner portion of my lid. Now I wanted that to blend out a little bit better. So I went into the lavender shade. So one of the lighter purples and just put that in between the pink and the darker purple. Now for the outer portion, I wanted to put that red next to that purple because I wanted it to be nice and dark on the outer portion of my lid. So I'm just blending that red into that purple. And to finish up the gradient for this eye look, I wanted to go into the yellow. And as you can see, I'm just gently building up that yellow to get it to the pigmentation that I want and just kind of soften up the edge of that red. And it worked out perfectly. I really, really like how it just nicely built up and blended out the edge of that red shade. So of course I'm gonna cut my crease. So I'm going in with my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and I'm just using this to create a basic cut crease for this look. Now I would advise you if you don't want your cut crease to be light blue or a lighter shade of whatever color you're using to use a makeup remover first. I didn't really care because I knew I was just gonna go over it with some darker colors anyway. So on the outer portion, I'm just adding a little bit more of that navy blue just to bring it together with the outer corner of my eye. Next to that, I tried to go in with the purple, but of course, because my lid is blue, it didn't come off purple. <laughs> it came off like just a different shade of blue with a hint of purple, but like I said, I didn't really mind. I was kind of letting this eye look just create itself, to be honest with you. So I decided I wanted to go in with one of my holographic or 3D toppers for my eye, and I wasn't sure what color I wanted to use. So I just swatched a few so I could figure out what color I wanted, and I decided I wanted to go in with the green. This is my JCAT 3D holographic topper, and this is in the color Wink Tink. Very, very pretty. It's a green shade, but with the holographic poppers, they kind of shift with the light. So it's like you can see different colors, but basically you need to be in the light to really see it <laughs> for how it's supposed to look. So I'm just going in with a black liquid eyeliner to create a wing for this look. I'm gonna go ahead, finish my complexion off camera and come back so we can finish up these eyes. I wanted to keep my lower lash line simple, so I'm just going in with some of my Milani waterproof black eyeliner on my lower lash line. And to smoke it out a little bit more, I wanted to try out the black in this palette. And as you can see, the black is black. <laughs> It doesn't swatch as nicely as it performs on the eyes. It is definitely a really nice black shadow. 
So for an inner corner pop, I wanted to go ahead and use another one of my holographic um, shadows. So I'm going in with my Hypnotic Lights from Milani. And this one is really, really pretty. It's definitely holographic. Now I'm using my mascara here. This one is the Thrive Cosmetics. Using that on my upper and lower lashes. And I'm just going to set this look in place with some of my ABH Dewy Set Setting Spray. And this is the final look, you guys. I have to say, I really had fun using this palette. I just kind of sat down and dug in. Wanted to really see how these shadows would blend in with each other. How they would show up on my lids. And I like them. I have no complaints about the pigmentation. I think for a $25 Revolution palette... It's a very nice collab and I like it. I love the colors. I like how it performed. So hopefully you guys had fun watching me create this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!